In the beginning, when God created the universe, the earth was formless and desolate. Then God commanded, let there be light, and light appeared. God was pleased with what he saw. Then he created the sky and the earth, and God was again pleased with what he saw. With his word, God could create everything, and so he created the entire world in seven days. He filled the earth with all kinds of plants bearing grain and fruit, and then he placed the sun, the moon, and the stars up in the sky. He caused the sea to overflow with all kinds of fish and other living creatures, and the air to be filled with birds. God also wanted there to be life on land, so he created all kinds of animal life, domestic and wild, large and small. God made them all, and God was pleased with what he saw. Then God created man to watch over all the other creatures on earth. God created man from the soil and breathed the breath of life into him so that he became a living being. And God saw that it was not good for the man to live alone. So with one of the man's ribs, God created woman so that they could be together. And these two people would be called Adam and Eve. God placed them in the Garden of Eden where they had everything they needed. He said they could eat from all the trees in the garden except for the one that stood in the middle. If they ate the fruit from that tree, they would die. Now the snake was the most cunning animal that God had made. It told Eve that if she ate the fruit of the tree, she would be able to tell the difference between good and bad, to become like God himself. Eve was curious. She ate part of the fruit and enticed Adam to take a bite. Then they were given understanding and realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and covered themselves. That evening they heard God walking in the garden and they hid from him among the trees. When God discovered they'd eaten from the forbidden tree, he was very disappointed and angry. He cursed the snake and sent Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. After Adam and Eve had been expelled from the garden, they had two sons, Cain and Abel. Abel became a shepherd. Cain was a farmer. In order to show their faith, they sacrificed their best animals and crops to God. God was pleased with Abel and his offering, but he rejected Cain and his offering. So Cain became furious and killed his brother. God asked Cain, where is your brother Abel? And Cain answered, I don't know. Am I supposed to take care of my brother? But God knew about the terrible thing Cain had done. So God sent him away, and he had to live as a homeless wanderer on the earth for the rest of his days. However, God still looked after Cain, and no one was allowed to kill him. Cain's descendants spread all over the world, but they were evil and God was sorry that he'd ever created people. He decided to wipe out everybody, with the exception of a man called Noah, with whom God was pleased. God told Noah to build a large boat for himself and his family, and to gather a male and a female of every kind of animal and of every kind of bird, and to bring them into the boat. For God had decided to flood the earth so that all the evil people would drown. For forty days God let it rain, and so much water fell that even the highest mountain was covered. Only Noah, his family, and the animals in the ship survived. After five months, the water began to subside, and finally the ship came to rest on a mountain in the Ararat range. Then Noah sent out a dove to see whether the earth was dry. The dove came back with a fresh olive leaf. So Noah knew the water had gone down. God told Noah he was to leave the boat with his family and all the animals so they could repopulate the whole world. God promised he would never again destroy all living beings. And he put the rainbow in the sky as a sign of his covenant or agreement with Noah. Noah's descendants became a great race of people and everybody throughout the world spoke the same language. 
the people decided to build a city with a tower that reached all the way up to heaven because they believed they could make a name for themselves, that they could become like God. But God mixed up their language so they could no longer understand one another and they stopped building the city. It was called Babylon because there God mixed up the language of all the people and from there he scattered them over all the earth.